A new conflict is shaping up in Clackwood Sound, the site of the largest logging protest in BC's history. This time, the issue is mining. The battle lines are being drawn over some exploratory drilling for copper along the west coast of Vancouver Island, specifically on a mountain that's clearly visible from the tourist mecca of Tofino. There are about 900 people living in a house at north of Tofino, and not many of them can find work. That's why natives are increasingly looking up across the water to Catface Mountain, where it's been known for decades that there's copper in that mountain. Now a BC company is proposing to build an open pit mine, and twice natives have voted 80% in favor of the project. There's no other way our young people could be employed. They're going to take 13 young people uh, this end of the week here. Yeah. And probably 90 when they, when, they, when they start to service mining. Are you nuts? An open pit mine in the middle of Clackwood Sound? This can't be. Natives may be in support of it, but clearly environmentalists and friends of Clackwood Sound are not. They recently held a protest outside the Vancouver offices of Imperial Metals, the company now in the process of drilling an additional 22 core samples in Catface Mountain to determine how much copper's in there. The ore body is about 800 feet down, so they'd have to remove the top third of the mountain just to get to the ore, and then they'd proceed to chip away at the mountain and get the copper out of the mountain. And it will be visible from downtown Tofino, but how visible is debatable. Environmentalists saying the company would have to lop off the top third of Catface Mountain. The company saying that's not true. Yeah, well, this is exactly what you see from Tofino. And what they always say is the whole Catface range is coming down, whereas the only deposit part we're looking at is this section right here. And you have the three peaks. It's the center peak there that would be removed if you go to the mining stage. The main activity is actually on the north side, and it's one ridge. After a quarter century of broken promises of renewed economic activity through ecotourism, things may have improved in Tofino, but not here in Ahauset. In fact, things are worse. That's why the copper in that mountain offers a more tangible new promise of economic prosperity. You know, we're tired of watching the parade go by. Uh, we want to be at the parade and give the candy to our kids ourselves. Even if the mine was approved today, it would be at least five years before the various environmental reviews were completed and the permits issued. And while they've been talking about mining copper here for decades, this time the proposal has the solid support of the Ahauset Nation, and that's something no government or ministry can ignore.